Hello, Wastelanders. It is I, Big Papa J. And I'm kind of curious as to how this little mystery is going to unfold. Because I have two crests active at the moment. If I bring up my tab, go to data, I have getting a clue. Get the key to Kellogg's house. And that's with Nick Valentine. Now, I also have where, oh, where can my baby be? This is also access and look for clues. Now, here's the kicker. I did oh, where, oh, where can my baby be in the last playthrough. It was one of the, one of the um, quests that I did in that particular playthrough. And you totally can bypass um, Virgil. You can actually bypass Nick if you wanted to. You you have the option of. I mean, what is it? I don't want to talk to you. You have the option of keeping Kellogg alive or killing him. So I did all that in the last playthrough. So I I know what can happen. I've also. Considering I've been playing this game since 2015, I'll, I've also done the vanilla, where you follow dog me to Kellogg's house. So I'm just curious. It's it's a curiosity, like the curiosity kills the cat. I am just curious what path, what avenue are they going to send me down when we open that door? Is it going to uh, merge the two together into one, or is it going to be bugged? And one's just going to be left an open quest that I can never complete. I'm curious. I'm curious. I'm kind of hoping it leans towards where or where can my baby be? I'm kind of hoping it would lean to that avenue. Maybe you could get a man's attention easier if you use softer words, honey. Maybe shout a little. What the hell, Piper doing up here? This article I'm writing about the mayor's affair with a certain air-headed blonde. Oh, look who it is. What brings you to the mayor's office, huh? What are you doing here, Piper? Trying to find out why the mayor happens to be meeting with the same suspicious-looking courier every other week. Not from any settlement I've ever heard of. And not from a caravan. Always in and out before anyone has a chance to talk to him. An errand boy from the Institute, maybe. <laughs> After this article comes out, that's what everyone's going to be asking. If you are done driving the reception area, Miss Piper, the mayor needs to make time for more responsible citizens. <laughs> I was just leaving anyway. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, my turn. Geneva. The mayor's receiving visitors as long as they aren't members of the press. Did you need help? Who do I talk to if I need to find a key to a house that's been locked up? If you're talking about a property that the city has seized, we only have one on the books. Mr. Kellogg's old house. You'd have to ask the mayor directly if you want the keys. Come on. Can't you help me yourself? And if I could, why should I? I could try to buy her. Oh, I could try to speak talker. Please. All I want to do is find my son. The man who owned that house kidnapped him. I've heard the sob stories before, so save them. Though so she doesn't want to. I can't. My speech check failed. Batman, you're not as a smooth talker as you think you are. Well, you do have an honest face, and it's not like there's anything important in an abandoned house. <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this, but what the hell? Here you go, honey. Now, don't do anything in that place I wouldn't do. Wow. I, I failed the first speech check, but I passed the second one. Interesting, interesting. Okay. Well, I have the key. I have the key. So let's move on and see if we can get to inside of Kellogg's house. I, like I said, I'm curious. I, I want to know how this story is going to unfold because I have experienced both the vanilla version and uh, the, pep the, pep the, the, pep the 
entirely bloody pronounce it. I have experienced both, so I'm kind of curious which path are we going to be taking. Here we go, here we go, up the stairs! Begin the countdown! Three, two, two and a half, two and three quarters, one. We are in. Let's take a look around. Kellogg must have left something behind. Okay, the buttons there, which isn't too... Also, the holotape, they are both here. So I have the option. I'm gonna pick up the holotape. Hey, I got Kellogg. Okay, so it, yeah, it actually gave me both. Interesting. I was curious which path it was gonna take. It gave me both. Did you check out that desk? Yeah. See, I'm gonna check out the desk too. Now, I, what I wanna do, I'm gonna do a quick save. Because I want to read the holotape first and then check out the desk. Because I want to know if, if I read the holotape first, does that button disappear? Um, Kellogg's replacement diary. The backup. Head to Fort Hagen and find Kellogg. Um... Both men are the I'm telling you, something's not right. Okay, the button's still here. For anything out of sorts, switch. A button. Well, that's one way to hide a room. Hey, so it did let me do that, but if you saw it pop up a second ago, it also said go straight to um, uh, all of a Merc's favorite things. It said, um, the follow dog meat is complete. So I don't think it's going to make me have to follow dog meat. I'm, yeah, 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 yeah. I am so curious. This, this is actually exciting for me. I'm having a hoot trying to figure out the mystery behind what is going to unfold if all this. Okay. Okay, I finished tossing Kellogg's house. Let's pick up his beer. Beer, when beer. It's not beer. 44 caliber bullets. Cigars. San Francisco Sunlights. Hmm, interesting brand. It won't lead us anywhere on its own, though. Any suggestions, Nick? Hmm. What about dog meat? Commonwealth mutt like him can track a man's scent for miles. Why don't you go fetch him and let him have a whiff? See if he picks up the trail. Uh, before you head out, uh, I know this is personal business. If you have to face Kellogg on your own, just say so. Goodbye, Nick. Hopefully not forever. I want to see you and your kids safe and sound when you get back. Good luck. Anytime you need help, just come knocking. Okay, now, question is... Oops, I don't need to be sneaking. I... If I go here to data, it says... Show dog meat to cigar. However, it said a second ago, I've already done that. I've already done that. So, um, where, where can my baby be? Head to Fort Hagen, find Kellogg. Something's not, something is busted here, I think. It's kind of trying to do them both at the same time. But I think something might be broken or busted. Which is fine. Because even if I have to show dog meat, which it shows me here showing dog meat, I can go ahead and still fast dog travel meat. and bypass Same all boy. this. Got something, boy? Okay. Complete getting a clue. So that is done. Now, it's already completed dog meat. So all I gotta do is just go ahead and jump over here to Fort Hagen. 
perfect. Let's go ahead and fast travel into Fort Hagen. So I don't have to follow dog meat. And it did kind of do both clues at the same time, both quests at the same time. Interesting. So that answers that mystery. What would happen if you have them both activated? This path would it follow? And it followed both. Oh, crap, I need blood. I need blood. I haven't drunk any blood and it's been over 24 hours. It's been a while since I've had a snack. I need some blood. I gotta... Okay, I'm gonna have to find me a raider or somebody, but it won't be disco round. Now, am I gonna kill Kellogg when I get in here? Or is it... Or can I... Ow! Stop! That hurts! Stop! That hurts! Crazy fool! Hostiles are in the area. That bloody hurts! Guys shooting at me. Oh! I bet that's my stalker right there, that bloody helicopter. I bet that's my bloody stalker. That bloody, bloody helicopter. How do I get up? How do I get up? Okay. Over here. Got some people shooting down there. Could possibly go try to eat them. But I'll wait. I'll wait. It's only every 24 hours. It ain't like it's gonna cripple or hurt me right off the bat. I'll have a little bit of time to, um, because I got 24 hours. It says I have to eat every, within every 24 hours. It doesn't mean I have to eat immediately, just every 24 hours. Okay, I'm going down. I'm going down. Let's go see if we can find us a Kellogg. At the end, just like before, how is this going to unfold? Is it going to let me perfect? Say, keep him as a companion, or is it going to make me kill him? How is this going to unfold? See all these mysteries. I'm just, that's just keeping me excited in this game. It's all these mysteries. How is everything going to play out? How is it going to play out? What do you think? Leave a comment. How do you think it's going to play out? Do you think I'm going to kill him? Or do you think I'm going to spare his life? Put your prediction. Put your predictions. dark in here. Awful bloody dark in here. I guess I could turn on my light. I use a red light instead of a um, white or green. I like using the red light. I think that's it for up here. I think. I think that's it for up here. I think. Might be wrong, but I think that's the way I came in. Okay, yeah, I think, 
I do believe that's it for up here. Time to go downstairs. Time to head down. Hostile sensor reading. Well, I took his bloody head off. That jackass didn't know what hit him. Movement detected. I knew you would reveal yourself. Sensor anomaly detected. Engaging hostile life form. <laughs> Suckers. It would have been. I didn't kill him the first time. Took his arm off, but it didn't kill him. I didn't hit him hard enough to kill him. Get, I guess. Took his arm off. Is all I did. Hey, anything? Anything up in here that I can get my hands on? I know you were still there. Wouldn't let me shoot through the door. It wouldn't let me shoot through the door. I was hoping it I was hoping it would, but it wouldn't. Okay, um Onward, that's ooh, more ammo. Yes, 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 yes. More bottle caps. Money, money, money. We all love money, don't we? Don't tell me you don't love money. I would say ye are a liar. Nah, I wouldn't call you a liar. Not everybody loves money. I don't love money. Do I need money? Yeah. We all need money. We got. We all have bills to pay. But do I love money? No, I do this for fun. I do this for fun. In fact, um, I tell my students that sometimes. My students ask me why did I move from America to Thailand? You guys know how much of a pay cut I took. I only make. But like I said, I don't do it for the money. I do not do it for the money. But I only make. About twelve thousand a year, twelve thousand U.S. a year living here in Thailand. And some of you might go, well, "How can I survive on only twelve thousand a year?" Well, see, that's the beauty of Thailand. The cost of living is so cheap down here. Americans, I'm sorry to say it, are spoiled. You guys, your Western lifestyles is absolutely. Ridiculous! Your Western lifestyles. You guys are spoiled, and um, I'm in that in that same boat. At least I used to be because I, I'm from America, so I lived that same spoiled lifestyle for a very long time, you know. And then I moved to America, not America. Then I moved here to Thailand, and. My eyes were awakened to the fact of just how spoiled Americans are. I hear people all the time, they, they make the comment, how can you live on just 12000 a year? Well, there's no... Um... How can I say this delicately without pissing too many people Contact off? Detected. Possibly. Um, government involvement. America's cost of living is so high because if you're a Democrat, close your ears. The Democrats don't know how to keep their damn dicks in their pockets. They spin like a candy, a kid in a candy store. Now, some people can argue that the Republicans do too, and I'm not saying they don't. I'm not saying the Republicans don't. But you look at when Donald Trump was president, 
and then you look at Joe Biden being president, you cannot honest to God tell me that Joe Biden is a better president, that the economy is better off. I would say pull your head out of your ass. The economy is not better off under Joe Biden. It is a shitstorm in America. And you come to a place like Thailand or Cambodia, Laos, Vietnam, Indonesia, um, the Philippines. And it's like night and day, night and day. In, in, a, in the Philippines, if you live like a local, I'm talking live like a local. I'm not talking restaurant lifestyle. I'm talking just live like a local. You can live on 500 U.S. a month. I'm serious as a bloody heart attack. Expats do it all the time. Now, they're not living like kings. They're not living like a king, you know. But they can, they do it. It's, it's very feasible. I live in Thailand. I'm only making, you know, maybe a little over 12000 Okay, let's go to the higher end and say 15000 I'm not living like a king, but I'm living very comfortably, very comfortably. I have a three-bedroom, two-bath house that I live in. Three-bedroom, two-bath house. One of the bedrooms I use is my office. I have a car, two motorbikes, motorcycles. Um, and I live good. I can honestly, honestly say I live good. I have no complaints. Offline. How interesting. Because you fear death. Down. Ah, shut up. I fear nothing. Okay, back to back to what I was saying, though. Yeah, um, I live a, a comfortable, happy life. A comfortable, happy life here in Southeast Asia. And it's because... Because of the sheer fact that... Everything's not overinflated. That's an American thing. Everything's overinflated. And I hear Americans all the time talking about how bad things is in America. Well, it's your own bloody fault, you crazy fools. Quit electing Democrats. Your own bloody fault. Uh, enough of my little rant again. I get on these little rants sometimes. Well, it but it's one it's one of the bloody reasons I left America. Last time we I didn't leave America because I don't love my country. I left America because the Democrats are running it into the damn hellhole. You know, I always forget that I can just on that. I always forget. I always just come barging in here gun ho. On downward we go a little bit deeper into the rabbit hole. Keep driving down into the rabbit hole. Booyah! Wouldn't wanna be ya. <laughs> Sorry, your house has been a wreck for 200 years. But I don't need a roommate. Leave. No, I don't think I will. I don't think I will leave. I'm coming to confront you. The question is, do I kill you or do I flip you? What do you think? You think I'm going to kill him or am I going to flip him? 
you know, it may not be in my hands. I may not have a choice in the matter. Never expected you to come knocking on my door. The crazy fool may force my hand and force me to kill him. After that, I figured the Commonwealth would chew you up like jerky. So we're going to have to see. When I get down here, we're going to have to see this avenue is the game going to force me down. Is it going to give me the option or is it going to force my hand? Advanced Institute sensors available. I, I need my light. I unfortunately I need my light because I can't bloody see. Oh, okay. Deeper down the rabbit hole we go. Deeper down the rabbit hole we go. Look, you're pissed off, I get it, I do. But whatever you hope to accomplish in here, it's not gonna go your way. Hello sure does like to talk, doesn't he? Dude's a talker. You know what? I missed a lot of stuff. I need a backtrack. I need a backtrack back up out of here. I missed a lot of stuff. There's a bobblehead that I missed and a magazine, another magazine that I missed. Sweet. I'm gonna backtrack because I missed some stuff. Let me go ahead and grab my loot from in here. But I did miss some stuff. I, I gotta backtrack. Um, uh, back up. This is the way I came in right here, right? If it'll let me. I don't know if it'll let me backtrack. It may not let me. But if it'll let me backtrack, I for, I missed some stuff. Some loot coming down here. A key that I need. Will it let me go back through this door? Okay, yes, it's going to let me backtrack. This video may end up being just a hair longer than normal. But it's my own fault because I I missed some stuff. Because I was talking to you guys. I was talking to you guys and I wasn't paying attention. And I did actually miss some stuff that I like to pick up. There's a, like I said, there's a bobblehead. And a few other things that I like to pick up when I'm down, down and about, down coming down through here. And I totally missed them. Totally forgot about them. Back up the elevator. Back up the elevator. Um. I always forget to open this door right here. I always forget to open that door. Um. This is fine because I got it now. But, um, let me see. Um. Maybe I didn't forget. Crap, I think maybe I didn't forget. I got myself all turned around, bloody sideways, backwards. Maybe I didn't forget, maybe not. Okay, back down. Maybe I didn't forget. Maybe I just, I'm just spazzing out. I'm having a brain fart. One of them brain farts. I get it every once in a while. You know what I mean? Yeah, let's run back down. Every once in a while. I didn't trip it because my my ninja skills are pretty high, but every once in a while I get a brain fart. I just forget what in the bloody hell I'm doing sometimes. I'm getting old. People would call that being getting senile. <laughs> yeah, maybe I am getting senile. Maybe I am getting a little old. Getting a little lone in the tooth, as um, they said in the Blade movie, the Vampire Blade movie. I'm getting a little lone in the tooth. Back down again, back down again. Oh, lady.
Okay, I'm going back down. Yeah, I had a brain fart. I, I don't know. Yeah, it happens sometimes. Yeah, what I thought I missed was actually, I didn't miss, I guess. I didn't go deeper in. I didn't go deeper in. I, um, it's like right here. Just stuff right here. And there's a, like I said, there's a, a bobblehead that I want to pick up, which I'll be getting here shortly. I took you out. What the bloody hell? I thought I took you out too. Yeah, yeah, because I was in this room here. And I when I came out of this room, I'm like, hey, I forgot to do some stuff. So then I started backtracking that way. I didn't forget. I just had a brain fart. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, big papa, big papa. Okay. Back to mission at hand. Back to mission at hand. I just... I spazzed out. I did. Big Papa spazzed out. Oh, lady. Oh. Grab that fusing core from in here. Go into here. Yeah. Because here's some supplies that I always pick up. That away. Yeah. Okay. Um, now, I want to go up inside of here. Oh, bloody me. Bloody me. Bloody me. Sorry, guys. I... I made this, here's the bobblehead I'm after. Bingo. I did make this video longer than it needed to be because I'm bla I'm talking too bloody much. Yeah. I got myself all turned around backwards, sideways, upside down, standing on my head. Good night. You see him poking his head around that corner? <laughs> that was funny. He was literally peeking around the corner. Thought he was gonna He thought he was gonna get a get the drop on me. It didn't pan out in your favor, did it dude? Nah, it didn't pan out in your favor, yeah. You see I thought I had missed this spot right here because there's a key down here you can get it. A nuka quantum and the key and I had thought in hindsight I thought I had missed it but no, I was just I was just being stupid just being stupid determination it's admirable but you are in over your head in ways you can't possibly comprehend whoever or whatever you are I know Well, they ran the other direction. Uh, here he comes again. Now, there should be one more. There's usually three of them. Where is number three? Where is the third guy? Where is he at? It's not too late. Stop. Huh. Turn around. Usually there's a third guy, but I don't see him. You have that option. Not a lot of people can see him. I always forget about that turret. There's one there, and there's one there. I always forget about them. Security door open. Go ahead and grab the supplies up out of here. Perfect, okay, let's, let's get this door open. 
because there's some ammo up in here. I don't care about the fat man, but I do want these boxes of ammo. One more over here. Don't, like I said, I don't really... Pretty nice. Pretty nice equipment for those who play stuff like this, but it's not my cup of tea, so I won't be picking it up. Um, let me see. More bottle caps. Magazine right here. This is another magazine that I thought I had missed. Ah, it's been one of them days, guys. It's just been one of them bloody days. Couldn't hit the bar side of a bloody barn that time. How many rounds did I spend trying to hit that sucker? I couldn't hit, couldn't hit him to save my bloody life. We now to value up in here. Oh, lady. Okay, okay, okay. Let's proceed through the door into Kellogg's. Kellogg's Domain. I don't need this water, but I'm going to pick it up anywho. And this is coarser armor. Okay, you may. I'm just up ahead. My synths are standing down. Let's talk. Now, it's going to confront Kellogg. The question is, when I confront him, is he going to give me the option to talk to him, or to kill him? Hey there. And there he is. Most resilient man in the Commonwealth. Funny. I thought I had that honor. How much are you willing to pay to keep breathing? <laughs> That's the spirit. You know, you surprise me, I have to admit. I find myself actually kind of liking you. Do we really need to do this the hard way? Start talking, or else. Fine. I guess you've earned that much. I'm just a puppet like you. It's given me the Steve option to spare him. That's all. I was curious what it was going to do. This whole setup in Diamond City was part of some elaborate plan of the old man's. It wasn't my idea to settle down with the kid in the middle of Diamond City. <laughs> I thought it was a terrible idea, actually. But it was one of the old man's pet projects, so here we were. Me and the kid, like a happy little family. I ended up kind of liking it. A reminder of what my life might have been if things had turned out differently. Where is my son? Where is Sean? Sean's a good kid. So maybe he's not quite a baby anymore, but he's doing great. Only, he's not here. He's with the people pulling the strings. Where he's safe and comfortable and loved. The place he calls home. The Institute. So where is it? Huh? This Institute. How do I get there? <laughs> Haven't you been paying attention? You don't find the Institute. The Institute finds you. What's that supposed to mean? You open the closet. It's just a closet. You can never find the monster that hides inside. Not until it jumps out at you. Let's stop with the Philosophy 101. Get down to business. Right to it then, huh? Okay. Fine. I read your journal. I need to ask you something. Did you have a daughter? That's right. I don't remember much from that time. It all kind of 
blends together. Whatever made me think that a guy like me should have a daughter? No, I, I never deserved her. Not for one second. I was the worst thing that ever happened to her. You saved her life. Nothing matters as much as that does. Do you regret it? I'm a cold-hearted bastard for sure, but uh, I'm still human. I never knew what happened to her after I left. I didn't want to know. Not then. You want to find your daughter, right? What if I knew someone who could help you? If you're hoping for a happy reunion, it ain't gonna happen. In another life, I probably would have been a good father. But here, in this terrible reality, you just don't get that chance. You don't sound happy. I think you'd regret it if you didn't try talking with her. People are always hoping for something better. They usually end up with something worse. The thing about happiness is, you only know you had it when it's gone. I mean, you, you may think to yourself that you're happy, but uh, you don't really believe it. You focus on that petty bullshit or next job or whatever. It's only looking back by comparison with what comes after that you really understand. That's what happiness felt like. I don't understand. I found your daughter. Aren't you curious? Not really. Don't worry about it. At least I know those Institute bastards will soon get what's coming to them. What do you mean by that? The eggheads never like taking orders from a dirty, contaminated degenerate like me. I can see only one way out. What are you offering, exactly? I do what people pay me to do. If I'm working for you, there's no more problem. From what I hear, you can afford me. I'm Batman. Of course, my money means squat in this reality because we deal with bottle caps now. Uh, someone needs to destroy the Institute, yes. Someone needs to destroy the Institute. Okay, fine. So, you ready? Lock and load. Let's do this. Okay. K Kellogg is now my companion. Discuss your findings with Nick. Read Kellogg's t terminal for more information. And... I didn't kill Kellogg, so he is a companion instead of an enemy at the moment. And he wants to take down the Institute as well. But Kellogg also uh, wants to take down the Institute. Plan B. Only one way to survive. Glowing C wasn't going to be oh. a picnic. I never expected an Institute egghead to give me so much trouble. Area patrol in progress. Just find them. There you are. Hold it. Take it nice and slow. No sudden moves. Why are you hiding? Why are you even here? What do you want? Don't toy with me. Look, I'm a reasonable man. But the Institute wants that data, and you're gonna give it to us. I'm sorry, what? If I help you, you're going to do something for me. Then we do this the hard way. <laughs> Bank damage. <laughs> Mobility decreased. I... I... Look, I know I've made mistakes. Just... just leave me be. That's all I ask. That's the way you want to do it? Suit yourself. <laughs> Critical heart injury sustained. Talk. Fine. Let's talk details. Okay. The primary insertion point for coursers is in the ruins of CIT, directly above the Institute. No kid. You need to build a device that will hijack the signal the Institute uses to teleport coursers. Came up with some schematics for you. You see, these are gonna work, right, Doc? The relay is the only way in and out of the Institute. Every courser has special hardware 
that gives them a direct connection to the relay in the Institute. It's embedded in a chip in their heads. You need that chip. But to get it, you'll have to find a Courser. Don't worry about it. No. The relay causes some pretty heavy interference all across the EF spectrum. When you get to the ruins, tune into the lower end of the band and listen in. You'll be able to hear the interference. It's gonna be worth it, right? Follow the signal, and it'll lead you to a Courser. Then, you just have to not get killed. I get it. But I think we've been talking long enough. Wow. Kellogg killed Virgil. All targets eliminated. Location secured. Let's go. Interesting. So Kellogg killed Virgil. Very interesting. Very interesting. Okay. You killed him, huh? Wow. Now, oh, I gotta pick up this hollow tape. Travel up to CIT and tune your radio to the Corsa signal. Come on, Kellogg, let's get the bloody hell out of here. I'm gonna make it to the roof. So, Kellogg is now a companion. He is a companion. This means I can't get his gun, but I don't want his gun. Let's open this door here. All aboard! Started a new mission, and here comes the Pedrin. People of the Commonwealth, do not interfere. Our intentions are peaceful. We are the Brotherhood of Steel. I still need to go do Power and Dance. I need to hook up with him because even though eventually I might end up destroying all the factions when it's said and done, um, I have to make contact with all the factions in order to advance the storyline the way I want to. Power of Adam. I need to eat, child of Adam, and you look like a good target. Okay, and that should, I don't feel an, ooh, bloody hell. I don't feel a need for blood anymore, so that took care of my bloodlust. Don't feel a need for blood. It took care of that for me. That all the targets at the moment. Let's see if I can fast travel to my office for a stopping point. And then we will go from there. Okay, when the bloody hell is my office? Where's my bloody office? I can't find my bloody office. Ah zoom out a little bit so I can bloody see better. There it is. There it is. Oh, whitey. So 
so we are here at my office okay hello miss piper hello Kellogg you guys make yourself at home and I'm gonna park it right here and when I return, we will continue and see where this journey takes us. This is becoming very exciting, very exciting. Where can my baby be? Um, travel to the CIT. So I think I'm going to have to keep Kellogg with me just a little bit longer until I complete all of this. But yeah, things are looking good. I don't think I have to go back to Nick Valentine because I don't see I don't see that anymore so I don't think I have to go back and talk to Nick Valentine I think it took that off of the books but that being said this is big pop today hoping you have a good day or night depending on what it is where you are this storyline has taken a major turn and I'm loving it with that being said I'm out of here